Okay guys, Mr. Poseidon Surf here, Mr. Poseidon. Um, I'm here to do a uh, review today on the uh, surf casting belt uh, made by Gear Up. That's uh, Gear Up Surf Casting. Uh, great company, makes some good products out there. But I'm here to do a review on the belt. Now, um, I want you to know before I start, I'm not affiliated with these guys. I'm just a regular customer who went online and uh, purchased uh, their belt. Uh, the reason I got this belt uh, was because I saw on Surfcaster's journal, Zenor Hermine made a nice review explaining why we need a belt that's tough as far as hardness around here. Very important to have a belt like that. Uh, I'm going to start by saying the reason we need that is you're hanging heavy equipment, guys. Got a pair of pliers here. You got a boga grip. You got the Rock Harper clip here, which I use for my boga grip. And when you're hanging off, you're putting on all this equipment, it gets kind of heavy. Personally, I don't like a sagging belt, which is what I had before. And when I saw uh, Zeno Hameen talk about that, I was like, wow, that's me. That's my sagging belt. I wanted something tough, something that doesn't hang, okay? Something that operates uh, right when I also have my, my bag straps or my bag loops back here and I run the belt through it. I'm sliding the bag on the belt back and forth, making sure that uh, it stays on and it's easy done. Where you have a soft belt, I don't see that happening. At least it didn't happen on my last belt. Uh, I also hang the bag loop around my shoulder just to let you know that all the weight is not on the belt. It's distributed between my shoulder and the belt. Again, having a nice solid belt, as you can see here, the belt is very solid here. You can see it, look at it. Look how it stays solid, beautiful. Uh, continuing on the belt, there's the buckle here which locks the belt in place. Now I gotta tell you that this stainless steel they're using here, a1 guys, number one. This stainless steel is good stainless steel. There's different grades of stainless steel if you guys don't know. And uh, you know, this is in the salt water all the time for me. And after a dozen uses, I see no visible signs of any rust. It works completely fine as you can see. So back and forth. Uh, the only thing is like any other piece of equipment, even my van stall reels, which do not require any uh, maintenance on them basically, at least for me, I'm saying that um, I rinse them down with water. Fresh water when you get home with the hose or whatever you want to use. A cup of water, rinse it, and you're done. That's the maintenance on this belt. Totally, totally fantastic. Again, you're hanging heavy equipment off of here and my bag. This belt does not sag. It stays absolutely stiff all around my waist. Totally fantastic. It's what I need. Practicality on the surf. I mentioned before in my videos, you know, you're on the surf, you're on a rock, you don't really want this thing dangling. You want a nice tight piece of equipment on you that you know is there for sturdy. Uh, continuing on this uh, belt also, which I love, it's not only the stiffness, but my favorite feature on this is, is that when you slip this belt through, okay, let me put it on so you can actually see this belt. When you put this belt on, right, and you put it through the, uh, through the uh, buckle here, you can tighten it and you can adjust it. As you can see, it's adjustable. So when you're done, all you do is Velcro it down. This has Velcro from the tip all the way here. I would say it's about anywhere between, I don't know, 9 to 10 inches on there of Velcro. And this Velcro also is a little longer for the adjustment on the belt. Now before I tighten this buckle, take a look at this. This belt is on. It's not coming off. Even with this buckle undone. And why I'm showing you this, again, you're on the surf. If you fall or tend to have a fall or something goes wrong or you hit it with your hand or you're fishing around by accident and this buckle gets undone, it isn't falling off. If you got a belt that doesn't have that and this buckle opens, you will lose the equipment. Everything will just come right off you and say bye-bye. Unfortunately, I have a triple uh, safety on that. If it does happen... I also have the strap around my shoulder, which is connected to the belt. I'm not losing it no matter what. But that's never going to get to that point. Because you have the Velcro here, it does not come off. 
when you buckle this down, it buckles on nice and tight, no problem. So you hang everything off of here. Your bag, I like to take my bag, I like to swing it around on the belt. I mean, a lot of guys don't, you know, I used to leave it behind me, but sometimes I felt on the cast, the thing would swing forward and I hated that. When I keep it on the loops itself, it doesn't happen. And again, it's a tight belt, perfect for me. Look at that, this comes right off. Again, stiff belt, look at that, gear up. You guys did a really good job, that's uh, gear up. And uh, obviously guys, I love showing this part off. It's made in the USA, as you could see here. Great belt, gear up, thank you very much. Uh, I did place a call to them just to speak to him about it also. I spoke to uh, Adam on uh, uh, on uh, Gear Up. He's the uh, owner of the place there, of his company. If you go online and look them up, gearup.com, uh, they really have some nice products, uh, other products that you can look into. But I'm here to do a review on their belt, which I absolutely love. I love this belt. Great solid belt. The guy on the phone ate him, gave me time, which is what I like to see in people that own their businesses. You know, it's not a giant community, the surf casting community, but, you know, the guy gave me his time. He, you know, he talked to me about fishing, you know, obviously about the belt and uh, other gear out there, the, the goods and the bads. You know, uh, you know, again, um, Zeno Hermine on Surf Castle's Journal. If you got a chance, go to YouTube, check out his uh, his review on this. He'll tell you about it also. You know, a lot of guys might say, oh, the belt's too hot, I don't like it. And another guy, you know, for me, this is the belt. For me. I love this. If you know what you're talking, if you know what you're doing, I think you should be using something solid like this. It's a really, really good belt. Again, I've used it a dozen times only. I mean, I think that's enough for me to say it's a good belt. I've had, had no problems with it. The buckle has never opened on me. So this double uh, system here of, is a great safety system. Thank you, Gear Up. Thank you, Adam. That's a great belt uh, you guys develop. Uh, really, uh, really like it. And uh, that's my review on, uh, on this belt here. I'm not affiliated with these guys again. Uh, I'm not doing any advertising for them. It's just me. I bought the belt, and when I like something, I do a review on it. I really don't do any bad reviews. I just don't do that. That's not me. But I will tell you when something's good, and this is good, guys. Thanks again, Gear Up. Way to go. Good belt, and uh, I'll see you guys out there on the surf. Mr. Poseidon, signing off.